Inside, one immediately notices the jubet, a jetty placed horizontally to the nave, decorated by polychrome base reliefs depicting the patriarchs and stories from the life of the Virgin Mary. The interior of the church, with its pointed arch architecture and ribbed vaults, has only two naves with corresponding apses because the third nave was abolished for the construction of the adjacent buildings, including the chapter house. The high altar has a remarkable colored terracotta triptych from the middle of the 15th century. On the apse beside the window, there is the Annunciation formed by two Romanesque high reliefs of notable craftsmanship. The cloister, whose uneven architectural appearance shows the extent of successive construction work, has frescoes of particular value that represent one of the most interesting pictorial cycles of 14th century Piedmont. On the lunette above the entrance, there is a fresco depicting the enthroned virgin flanked by angels. On the walls, there are some major frescoed cycles, among which Christ with the Evangelists, Adoration of the Magi, and the so-called conflict between the three living and the three dead. Of particular importance, also for the diversity of the iconography, are the decorated capitals, both in the church and in the cloister. <laughs> 